Welcome to day two of the Buff Bride series. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through an arm and shoulder workout. This workout can be done standing. You are not gonna be on the floor at all. And all you're going to need is a set of dumbbells. This workout series is perfect if you are heading into your wedding. Maybe you got married last month, last year. Maybe you got married 10 years ago and you just want to feel as confident and strong as you did in your dress that day this program is perfect for you. Come along with me as we celebrate and honor everything that our bodies do for us and how capable they are. And let's build some arms that we wanna show off this year. First exercise we're going to be doing is a standing alternating Arnold press. You're going to hold a set of dumbbells up right at your face level or about shoulder height and your palms are going to start by facing your body. From here you are going to start to press one arm up overhead and rotate your hand outward so that at the top of the movement your palm is going to be facing away from you. Then as you return back to that starting position, you're gonna turn your hand back down so that your palm is facing you at the end of this exercise. We're gonna be repeating this on each arm. I want you to think of keeping your core nice and tight and inhale at the bottom and then use that breath to exhale at the very top so that you are using that power and that breath in your core.
got me by through the bullet I won't play a second fiddle with you You look away just when they pull it You gotta step up, yeah, you miss your You, ooh, ooh, your time is up now I'm no fool, I know what you are up to Keep things cool, but it won't help you, help you This time This time This time, no targeting our shoulders doing alternating upright rows so you want to think of pulling the dumbbell up on your body almost as if you're zipping up a jacket you're going to have your arms very close to your body the entire time and you're gonna have a bend in your elbow I don't want you to bring the dumbbell up much higher than below your clavicle right about your armpit height the reason for this is the higher you go the more likely you are to kind of cause some shoulder impingement. So make sure when you're doing this as well, you're keeping your chest upright. Think of pulling your sternum to the ceiling. You wanna have great posture. And don't bring the dumbbells up too high. If you feel any clicking or moving in your shoulder, just raise the dumbbells as high as you can without experiencing that.
this next superset is gonna be a good time. We're gonna do five bicep curls with your palms facing up at the very end of this exercise. I want you to avoid any swinging in this motion. Then we're gonna go directly into five hammer curls. You're gonna have a neutral grip, so your palms are gonna be facing each other. And then after we complete five of our hammer curls, we're gonna take one dumbbell and hold the head of each dumbbell with each hand, bring it up over our head and do tricep extension. So this superset is targeting the bicep and the tricep and it is a good, spicy, fun time.
For this next exercise, you are not going to need any weights. We're going to be doing body weight rear delt flies. If you have small one or two pound weights, you can also use those or you can use them body weight. For this exercise, I want you, if you're doing it body weight, to make a fist with your hands. And you're going to want to think of pulling your elbow back, almost as if somebody has attached strings to your elbows and you are just alternating on each side, pulling them back. Your rear deltoids are a small muscle on the back of your shoulder that these are going to target and they are great for having great posture. We're gonna superset this with a dumbbell front raise, holding one dumbbell by each head and raising it to above our chest or lower chin area. You should feel this in the front of your shoulders and even on the sides. 